But while folks, you might want to stop chasing that pom pom because today we got a whole lot of disasters to talk about. Drop a thumbs up if you're killing it today because of our first story. Coming in at our number 14 spot, you're not gonna believe what just happened. Roll it. This woman apparently just lost her job for saying she was looking forward to a Harry Potter gift. Oh my god! How did we as a society became this? If you play GTA, that means that you're gonna rob banks in real life. They're gonna get Bruh. to that point. Yup, that truly happened, okay? I'm gonna be linking you that video at the end. It's a must watch video, guys. Yup, a lot of people are mean, people are angry, and a lot of people are going absolutely crazy over this video game. It is insane. But at our number 13 spot, you wanna see what happened? Check this out. We ended up getting the day before gameplay. It is about like 10 minutes of gameplay. And I gotta say, bro, that the world is looking hella lit, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Bruh. I'm gonna stop beating around the bush. Their entire budget went into making that ass. Bruh. That's it. That's the gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's literally a running simulator, and I don't want to look at that, but I'm constantly looking Bruh. at everybody gather on, can gather on. This is why I always tell you to not chase a pom pom. A pom pom can lead a man to dangerous places, and this next upcoming story, it is dead ass about that. But a lot of people are loving the gameplay, a lot of people are hella mad with the situation. I want to know your thoughts. But ladies and gentlemen, speaking of not chasing the pom pom, Singapore man sues woman for three million dollars for being friends on. the situation is that the two first met in 2016 and they became friends over time however mr I, I, i'm gonna have a hard time pronouncing this name so i'm not gonna do that but mr developed feelings for mrs tan but however mrs tan always saw that relationship as a friendship okay so apparently she friends on him and he was still persistent he was blinded by the pom pom he was chasing that and this should be a learning lesson to all of you out there because in september of 2022 the problem started after mrs tan only considered mr Mr. as a friend i mean damn man say you swear to god man say you swear to god whereas he regarded her to be his uh, closest friend okay he was uh, basically blinded by the pom pom let's keep a buck 50 guys and then he dropped a massive bumble cloud and he just sued her for emotional trauma and we're gonna be hearing more on this situation on february 9th because that's when a trial will happen okay hey, yo what the f she better hire Saul goodman for this story but ladies and gentlemen check this out so this story is truly wild apparently there has been like some fortnite events happening in real life uh we're talking about <laughs> Bruh. We're talking about a Chinese balloon. A lot of you have been adding me in this situation. A lot of you have been talking about it. There was dead ass a Chinese balloon that was surveilling the US. And reports are saying that it was also surveilling the Canadian citizens. I mean, damn, man. Y'all got TikTok. Was TikTok not enough to spy on, on people? And we got the president running for it. <laughs> we got the president. Bruh. Oh, my man. Somebody help a brother out. And I really cannot compute this Fortnite event in real life. Why do we need that? I mean, come on, son. Like, these Chinese be crazy, bro. Also, NYT is reporting that four insiders from Microsoft Xbox are expecting UK to come out against the Activision deal. And this is where we add as a, as a species, guys. Apparently, for the longest amount of time, Phil Spencer has been saying that he's way too confident about this deal. Uh, he recently came out almost a week ago. He was saying that he's confident. I'm not sure if he's confident after this one because even Xbox, Microsoft Xbox, they're expecting UK to come out against the Activision deal. Uh, yeah! I don't see this deal going through at all. Uh, Phil Spencer was recently quoted saying that I cannot be any more confident that this deal will go through even more than last week. Homeboys are making Phil Spencer cry in the situation. And, and I'm telling y'all, man, the Sony ponies are definitely having a field day right now. And I want to know your take. You think the deal will go through? You think the deal will not go through? Let me know. Spider-Man 2's Venom voice actor also ended up teasing news in a cryptic tweet. And basically, he just said that you F that. Uh, we shy to Spider-Man. I am Venom. Wait, watch and wotness because he was challenged by isaac who said that don't forget tony you are not venom we are venom and last time when that happened when the actor teased spider-man 2 nothing really Bruh. came on other than the fact that it was showing up over on the sony pony store and they came out and they said that yeah guys it's coming out soon and we still are waiting but i guess it's safe to say if the game is really supposed to come out this year because they are saying it's going to be coming out this year if it's really coming out this year we're going to be getting that playstation showcase very soon how soon is it going to be a week from now two weeks ten months 20 years 
I'm not sure, guys. We also ended up getting some new Resident Evil 4 remake gameplay, and I mean, damn, son, that, that rain is looking crazy. And it's really wild to see a lot of people actually love, a lot of people got positive, thanks to saying. I haven't seen any negative comment. A lot of people are also happy with the stealth kill, and that tells me that stealth wasn't present in the original because I never really played Resident Evil. I, I know that's like a bruh, bruh moment. I, I totally understand. I might actually pick this up. I might actually live stream. I'm not sure, but it's looking hella good. And for this story, you might want to clench your butt cheeks of viewer discretion is advised because we're going to be diving into some uncharted territories with the sony ponies topic with the xbox topic if you're a sony pony don't laugh guys because xbox has allegedly canceled its e3 appearance due to a marketing budget cut i mean damn son like bro microsoft is a trillion dollar company we're not even talking million we're not even talking billion we're talking about trillion dollar company okay and you're telling me they got a budget cut i personally do not believe into this situation they have more money than god but that's basically the news fyi the reason why xbox won't be making a big splash this year on the e3 convention floor is they have a reduced marketing budget one of them has no games and the other has no marketing budget but it is still there just likely without a big bruh yeah. and apparently this news is coming from andy robinson those of you that do not know andy is behind vgc and vgc is a very good source i don't know man i'm personally having a hard time compute this situation if you're a sony pony don't laugh and if you're an x bot i want to know your situation because this is wild man this is wilder than johnny sins movies and you want to know what else is wild well dr disrespect studio midnight society is teasing something special coming with snapshot 5 of their game in a little over a month and basically they're teasing the fact that uh, they're gonna be having their game getting revealed midnight society Previously, Dr. Disrespect did say that this game is gonna be Bruh. better than Modern Warfare 2. A lot of people made fun of him, and admittedly, even I was looking at the situation, and it was kind of funny, right? Because we're talking about the fact that he did share firing range gameplay, and that did look way better than Modern Warfare 2's firing range. That I gotta agree with, but I'm not sure if this game is gonna be better than that or not. Right now, there are a lot of people mad with Modern Warfare 2. The game is dry as hell. There's literally nothing happening. We also ended up here that they're getting sued and apparently some of the older call of duty games are getting removed from the store dead ass i will link you that video at the end i indeed talked about it in this video here i will link you at the end but check this out right activision they also filed patents for never ending multiplayer mode <laughs> and i'm sitting here i'm like why complicate this bro you got free for all just remove the time limit because these games they never end okay everybody's sitting there with thumbs up their asses nobody's moving and all the free for all games they always hit the time limit. The games never end, okay? So just, just remove the time limit and you already have it, Activision. And now the rumor is that, uh, could we be about to see a 24-7, 365 mode for shipment in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2? Honestly, I like the idea, but let's be real. We're talking about Activision. There has to be something behind the scenes, right? Because uh, it looks like that they're using and applying the casino format. You know, every time you hop in the casinos, they have no clock there because once you're in there, they don't want you leaving because once you're in there they want all of your money they don't want to see you winning and if you win they're gonna make sure you got like the free hotel stay they're gonna make sure that you play a game the following day and that's where they get you right because if you play the next day you're gonna be losing all the money because the house always wins baby that's basically the mentality that's basically the the, the, the strategy with, with, the, with, the, with the casinos and it looks like that they're applying kind of like the same format and once you're in the lobbies obviously the skill based matchmaking will take care of you the ebmm will take care of you the rig based matchmaking will take care of you they will make sure that you end up buying those 20 dollars skins okay i like the idea don't get me wrong but we're talking about activision and this is where i'm kind of sus okay also shout out to the homie ism for adding me in the situation because the homie tom henderson came out and he says that marvel's wolverine is m rated and it's going to be semi open because previously a lot of people were expecting that it's going to be an open world game then we uh, started hearing some rumors that said that it's not going to be an open world game it's gonna be a linear game and i saw that i'm like okay you know what if it's a linear game that means that, it, that, that the world that we're gonna be playing in it's gonna be much more polished and the story will be way better right because they're gonna be spending a lot of their time into the gameplay mechanics and into the story and the progression and the stuff that matters right so personally i, I got no problem with this one but tom is now saying that it's gonna be semi open world which is just better than linear and if you hate linear games well it looks like that we're gonna be getting semi open and semi open games are uh, 
same way open, okay? And he says that it may be launching by fall of 2024. A lot of people are expecting it to come out in 2025, but I really hope it's 2024. And also, I'm doing a $100 giveaway. I do that every single month. If you're interested, check out the top pin comment below. You enter once and you're enter for good. Check it out. And for this story, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to stop rolling your fat doobies around because, I mean, goddamn, son. One year ago, today, Rockstar Games officially confirmed GTA 6 with soon. And that soon, that never comes. <laughs> and right now, there are a lot of rumors going around. I did make a dedicated video on the situation with all the teases and everything like that because, admittedly, we did get some new teases. And there's a whole lot of rumors flying around. Yeah, we're talking about GTA 6, so those rumors are likely kept. Let's keep about 50 but there's a little bit of substance is what i'm trying to say and we're also hearing that rockstar insider says that and we're talking about test one too he claims that there are multiple like files and there's like multiple stuff happening behind the scenes that's leading him to believe that gta 6 is basically finished and that the game is in the polishing stage i really hope that's true because a lot of people are expecting this game to come out by the end of 2024 or by the end of 2025 it kind of makes sense but what does not make sense here is that playstation china china number one china number one mother trickers playstation china has followed rockstar china youtube account and that is a little bit suspect right if you want to see what's happening with gta 6 click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because it's really getting worse for hogwarts legacy and this is something that you should know check these videos out guys and i will see you right there